Hello, 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 and welcome. This is Beverly Fells Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness, and I just want to welcome you to today's Eclectic Alchemy. You know, um, a while back, um, I harvested a ton of greens from my garden. I had purple mustards and kale and Swiss chard and regular and kale, regular kale and purple kale, just all these different types of greens. And I was trying to decide, okay, what are you going to do with these things? I mean, you got a lot. Well, some of them I just washed and chopped and blanched and put in the freezer. But I went out looking. In fact, I put this picture on Facebook and asked my friend, okay, give me a recipe. Give me something that I could do with these greens. And uh, a woman posted back this interesting recipe called rye Bolita. That's how I'm going to pronounce it, ribolita. And I said, oh, this looks good. And it's something I've never tried before. And so therefore, let's do this. So that's what I'm talking about and showing you on today's video. Now, it's a soup. And, and I've never done a greens soup before and I kind of played with the recipe now in the description I'm going to give you the recipe she gave me but you know I'm always playing with my recipes and making changes and doing this and doing that so that's what I did this time I made some changes and so here's what I've done so I had parsley that I harvested, and I just absolutely love the flavor of parsley. So I took, mm, let's say, not quite a half of a bunch like you get in the store. You know, I didn't measure it out, but this looks like a good half a cup that I diced up. And also, I had harvested yellow peppers. So diced up some yellow peppers here uh, for that. I also added, as I always do, onions. You know, I am a onion person. Now, while I was working on doing all the dicing, I had some, what I like to buy is bacon ends and pieces. It's inexpensive. It comes in a big package of three pounds and they're all shoved in there, you know, it's just the ends and pieces from when they've sliced up bacon, you know, for your 12 ounces or your 16 ounce packages. So I took some of those ends and pieces and I started frying them up. I wanted the bacon grease. I wanted the flavor from the bacon grease. And by frying them up really crispy, I get that good Mm, bacony flavor. Yes, I'm not afraid of bacon grease anymore since I've started started paying attention to the true studies. No more corn oils, no more canola oil, no more vegetable oils. It's bacon grease, butter, coconut oil, avocado oil, olive oil. Even though olive oil and avocado oil are pressed, it's okay. Uh, they are, the olive oil is still good for you. That's okay, let me get back over here on the, the crisp up bacon. It's all ready for me now. So what did I do? I took, and I, I didn't take a lot of the bacon grease out of the pan. I, maybe, maybe about half of the bacon grease because they rendered up quite a bit of grease. Anyway, so let's say three tablespoons of bacon grease I had in there. And so I put in the onions and the peppers, right, is in this frying pan because I want them well fried up and, um, you know, all that onions and peppers. And so then once they were done, I put those in a pot, right? And this is a fairly large um, 
six quart pot I think it is it could be all right and so while those were simmering with the parsley I started chopping up my greens and when I did with the greens so these are um, the Swiss chard I chopped them up put them in a frying pan and I sauteed them I just I wanted to you know wilt them that's the word I wanted to find wilt them a little bit and get them you know I wanted to see how far down you know greens they have a lot of water in there and so they will wilt down quite a bit all right so that was Swiss chard now this is the um, kale yeah, now remember, all of this has been harvested from my garden. So the Swiss chard and the kale, the regular kale, the curly kale, went into the pot. And so here's some more. This is some mustard that I put, I sauteed, and they wound up in it. So I had Swiss chard, kale, and mustard greens were all mixed up in this pot now they you know they all cooked down um, to a small amount so it wasn't a whole lot when you finished right and so then after I got all of those mixed in the pot with the onions and the parsley right and the, and the, the peppers I added this can of crushed tomatoes you know I told you this was the soup so put in the crushed tomatoes and and for me I don't add salt when I do the bacon because the bacon has salt in it too but even with all those flavors that was in there I added some basil leaves now I could have used fresh basil because I had a ton of it I had Thai basil and purple basil and regular sweet basil in the garden this year but I had I just I didn't feel like going back out so I just pulled out the the dehydrated basil that I had had made now this is an old container that I just put my dehydrated basil in but I put in about two tablespoons of dehydrated basil all right so there's showing you that I've got the, that tomato sauce in there and as you notice uh, there's not a lot of water right so I stir all those that up and mix it all up with the grains and then I add chicken broth right so this is a what size is this I think this is almost 32 ounces and I, I, I can't see right now but um, so it's um, chicken broth so I had the whole container so this you know of chicken broth to it right and so now this is what it looks like um, really just you know and I just started simmering you know, with it now in the meantime I said this was beans with greens so I had so <laughs> let me see let me pull up for myself this recipe because the beans that they call for is I'm looking 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 and see what they kind canali nor great northern and cannellini <laughs> beans well I didn't, I didn't, Great Northern, I didn't have those. They were all dried beans. You know, I don't buy the canned beans. I buy kidney beans in cans. So I opened up the kidney beans and drained them, drained them and rinsed them really well because they're they kind of starchy in their sauce. And, and then I added those to the pot. And you know that bacon? I chopped it up into small pieces and added it to the pot and this is what the pot looks like as it is simmering so as the as it cooked down a little bit I would add a little water um, to it but all those flavors the bacon the parsley the basil the onion the the peppers just all those wonderful flavors the beans the greens they just all melded together as they simmered just on the on the 
stove. Now on this one, you see how full this pot is? I could not risk putting on the lid because you know what happens when it starts to boil, it would boil over. So I just simmered slowly with the lid off. I mean, this was just good. See, I'm stirring it, stir it up the pot. You see the greens and everything in it. And it smelled up the kitchen just so good. Now, as you hear, this recipe isn't difficult. I mean, just just think. Now, you don't have to use all the different greens that I, I used. I mean, if you, let me tell you. Now, grocery store, there are times when I go into my local big box grocery store, and I'm not going to say which one because it happens in all of them. And there's certain days of the week, and you can get to know this, but I'll go into that big box grocery store, and a couple of weeks ago, they had the bags of greens, you know, the bags with the with collards and mustards and turnips and, and uh, kale. You know, they're big bags, and they're usually $3.99 for that bag, which I don't buy because I grow my own, right? But in there, I got in there one day, and I, I wasn't greedy, but I got two bags because they were $0.89. Cents. They had been marked down, and I got those greens <laughs> and brought them home, and my daughter looked at me and says, Mom, we got greens in the backyard. I said, yeah, but I couldn't. I couldn't pass these up because we don't have any of these mustard greens in the back right now. I, and so I washed the, the greens. They were still good. That their, their use by date was coming up. So you can do the same thing. You know, you can, you can cook inexpensively. Um, just watch for the sales, right? It's me with the mushrooms, 69 cent, and I bring them home. I may cook with them right then, or I dehydrate them, put them in a jar for when I want to add mushrooms. I could have added mushrooms to this soup, you know, because this is a soup. So you can add all kinds of things. But let me tell you, this soup was awesome. This picture may not be the greatest, and I had made bread, so that was um, my no-need bread there at the top, and I had toasted it, and that was, this was not my only bowl of the soup. I had a couple of the bowls, and the next day I had a couple of the bowls, and I froze some of it, because it's just me and my daughter. I always say it's just me, because my daughter cooks her own her own thing and likes the way she cooks for her thing. So, but we come together and we eat each other's food. You know, it's like, oh, try my, try my chicken salad or try my this. And um, so I did freeze some of it, but it was less than half of it that got frozen. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and you will try it because it is so good. All right, this is Beverly Fells Jones, the Silver Fox of Consciousness. And if you are a new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. If you have been here before, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're new, hit the thumbs up and, and let Google know that you enjoyed this. I am working hard to increase my subscribers. So if you would, please share this recipe and tell people you got to subscribe to Beverly's channel because she's got all kinds of different things she talks about. Anyway, I will see you in the next video.